first thing you need to do when your basloid is laying down on the pallet, you need to make sure that it's fully collapsed. You should, depending on the height of the basloid, there should either be one or two of these teardrops showing. Before picking it up, you need to insert the safety block into the topmost teardrop. It locks in to place. Put it in, slide it down. That way, when you pick it up, it stops the basloid from lifting up. Next, before we pick it up, we're going to take the pins and this block out. Slide your pin out. Take your block off. Do the same on the opposing side. Now when we go to set the basloid back down, we want to make sure the positioning is correct. This has to catch this upper lip. You also have to be aware of these clearing the bottom side of your mask. As you lower this down, you're going to lower it down, it should fall right into place when you do it properly. Now we're going to go ahead and keep the forklift that was used to install the basloid as a safety precaution when we are putting our blocks that we initially took out back in. I'm reinstalling the block. Make sure that your lip is set upright and your flat part is facing the lip. Reinsert the block first in between the two dog ears. Take your pin. And this pin is just so happens to be bent, so it's a little difficult. been reinserted put your safety clip in there like so and go to the other side once again we're on the other side to remember that your lip goes up, flat part toward the lift. Take your block, insert it from where you removed it, slide your pin.
through your block. Insert your pin. All right, and before we back out with the other forklift, we want to go around and make sure all four points are secured. Uh, that we're on this lip good, and we've got this caught down here. And we're good. Good there. Right now it's in a collapsed state. In order to use it out on the floor on larger boxes, we'll set it all the way to the floor. That takes the pressure off of this. It needs to go down a little bit more, Todd. All right. Once it's off of there, we can go ahead and we're going to raise it all the way up and show it in the fully extended position. Okay, now our boxes that we're going to be moving aren't that tall, so at this point we'll lower it back down. Go ahead and lower it. That's good, and we will put this back behind of it. Be sure and don't get your hand between a pinch point, because if this falls down, it'll trap your hand. Always reach around below this bar. Now when he lifts now, it's going to stop at that point and we can hang our attachments onto it and move whatever size boxes we need to. Right. Okay, an operator brought us a forklift and they're needing to have the bass Lloyd changed out on it. The first thing we're going to do Right now, this is in the extended mode. We're going to take this block that's on the back side. When he drops the lift down, it'll make this loosen up for us. Go ahead and drop the lift down to the ground. Okay, once he gets Everything dropped down to the ground. Make sure he's got his hands off, this, off of the controls. Reach around behind it. Remove the safety block. And move it up as high as it will go in reference to this bar. At that point, we'll raise the entire bass void up. And it will be in the collapsed position. Keep going until you're about waist high with the bottom of the mast. All right, side shift it all the way to the left, all, all the way to the right. Okay, at that point right here are the safety clips. We'll need to pull these safety clips and the retainers off the bottom of the mast. It's held on on top with these. Okay, we've got this one out. And I'm going to go around to the driver's side and do the same thing. I'd shift it to the left. Okay. All that does is give us extra clearance away from the mast so it's easier to get into. On occasion, these pins will get bent, and you either need to straighten them out after you get them out, but in order to get them out, a lot of times you'll have to take a hammer and a punch and drive them out. 
then you get them out and you straighten them up. Stir it back up. At this point, we'll take our other forklift, we'll set the forks like we have them, and I'll drive into the center of the basketoid and lift it off there. You'll need to lift, push forward on this so that it unhooks and clears the bottom of the mast. I'll pull my forklift in here and lift the top off, then everything's free. But we'll want to be sure and put the forks in there before we push outward on it. Yeah. Okay, here we are with our blade set to pick up these furnaces without a block in. Our blades are set tight. They go underneath all four boxes. This is when you want to set your block. So you, you, you take it into the nearest open hole, set it there. then you pick up your basaloid, and you can see where the block is, it will keep the basaloid, it will keep the basaloid below the banding, below this, and underneath here, which will allow you not to damage the unit while you're carrying it. Now here's what you don't want, if, if you forget in carrying something else, and let's say your block is set way up here because of something else you were carrying it, let's say it was set up higher. So you go underneath here to pick these up. This is what you don't want. Carrying your basaloid against a unit like this for a prolonged period of time or picking up or slanting it back will actually dent and smash that unit on the inside. Even though the box might not show damage, you just put a big dent inside that box. So if you see this, you want to it? And, and when you lower this down, this is going to crush your box too, so it'll tear your tear you'll, your package. You'll crush your box, you'll pop your banding. So if you see it like that, what you want to do is slowly back, put the front of the box on the ground, slowly back away so your basilisk clears the box, drop it down. You want to take your block out. You want to go back underneath the boxes. You want, to, you want to pick them up, you want to pick it up, and then you want to go back to find your nearest open hole, wherever that may be set to the far. Then you want to go up, pick up your thing, and there you notice your basaloid is below the box, so you're not going to damage the banding, you're not going to damage the box, and you're not, especially not going to damage the unit on the inside.